Well, so I'm back. Okay, so I did a cell phone transfer a little bit ago of transferring video to uh, from the SD cards to uh, the big four terabyte drive and stuff. Um, again, so kind of a little bit of a recap. So one of the issues that I'm that, that I'm running into is being able to transfer the video from my SD cards to another drive, and you got to have something in between. And I don't want to take my laptop all the time. Um, so the other option is is to make a computer that's relatively inexpensive so what i did and you could buy all these parts at amazon and stuff like that and what i'll do is I'll, I'll i'll put the links down in the comment of the parts that i used for this so this is a box that is basically a full-grown computer can i give you an idea of the size of this this is a box of Bob Ross mints that I got in Oklahoma. And in this box of Bob Ross mints are some happy little trees. <laughs> so, to give you an idea, it's a little bit bigger than a box of Bob Ross mints. Box of happy little trees of Bob Ross mints. Anyways, um, what makes this uh, a little bit unique is that it has con considerably more power than a cell phone. Especially a cell phone that I bought back in, I want to say, 2017, 2018 time frame. Um, like I said, it's a full-grown computer. It's a full-blown computer, but it's about the size of the palm of your hand. Not much bigger than your credit card. <clears throat> um, the ports on it. If you look here, you got, you got the USB 2.0. Right, that's the black ports, the blue ports are USB 3.1, and then you got a Ethernet port here. Also, USB-C, so this is not a port for transferring anything. This is strictly for uh, powering the unit. Then you got two HDMI ports. So you can plug this into a TV and you can watch movies and stuff. Then you got audio, okay? It's kind of cool. It's got a it's a 4.3 inch touchscreen. It's got a little itty bitty fan on the inside and stuff like that to help keep it cool. <clears throat> the computer board is about eighty dollars. It's a quad core 1.5 gigahertz. It's uh, CPU has a, uh, a halfway decent GPU. Um, now this is not as powerful as this thing, but in a pinch, it's fairly inexpensive and it'll work. The case and screen come together. I got them on Amazon. I want to say about $25, right? But there's something else that comes with it. Now, this is a touch screen, but I have not been able to find a good virtual keyboard that works with it. Okay, so... I hit something on the back of the screen so I can keep the uh, uh, the front panel viewed so that I can see it and stuff uh, right around the time that I was talking about this. So we will take off from there and I'll just have to edit the video to cut it in. But um, one of the problems that I ran into is I couldn't find a good virtual keyboard to put onto the Raspberry Pi. This little computer, that's the name of the uh, computer, is called the Raspberry Pi. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so I bought a keyboard. This is about $25, I want to say, on Amazon. It's got a little trackpad on it. It's got some mouse buttons here. Also got the same mouse buttons up in the corner as well. Um, it actually works really, really well. It's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up so that we can go ahead and I can show you how fast it works and show you how this works and so on. This will take a couple of minutes. So, All right. So there's the Raspberry Pi. You can see the reflection of everything behind it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power into the USB-C port there. It'll take a moment for it to boot back up. Yes, the little fancy color thing is pretty cool and it pops up every time you boot it up. And it'll show up on the TV too if you do it there. And I'll cut in some video of uh, it playing a movie on the TV as well. 
and voila there it is now I don't know if I can get this if I get it too close it'll be blurry I don't want to do that um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my keyboard here I'm going to move this up just a little bit so you can see a little bit better all right okay so you see the mouse is being able to move around here okay so we're going to plug in the the four terabyte drive it doesn't really matter what or what order you plug them in at but it'll come up with a little window say hey you plug something in and you see where it says uh, i plugged something in it says open in file manager and that's what i wanted to do so i'm going to use this here and i'm just going to tap it and i'm going to open it up in file manager I created a folder yesterday when I was playing with it and testing it out. Double mouse click it. Whoops. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot this window a little bit to the side here so that it's... When I plug in this thing, this is the, this is the uh, adapter for the SD card. And it's going to pop up with... The same kind of thing right it's going to say hey you know there's a removable medium inserted what do you want to do you want to open it up in the file manager okay so like i said i i just took a, a video that it's a short video it's only about a gigabyte in size and that's this one right here normally what you would do is you would select all the videos that are in it i'm going to go ahead and right click and i'm going to copy it okay now over here I'm going to put my cell phone here and I'm going to time it. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to bring this window forward. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit. I'm going to put it right over paste. And right about the same time that I click the button, I'm going to start the stopwatch. This is more normal. When I did it earlier with this uh, arrangement, it was copying at about 13 seconds for the gigabyte. Thirty-one seconds. So it's about twice as fast as copying with the cell phone, which is kind of what I would expect. Uh, still, if you're copying 100 gigabytes worth of stuff, you know you're looking at about a half an hour to. 45 minutes to copy a hundred gigabytes, right? And I'll be honest with you when I take video I usually have about a hundred to hundred and seventy five gigabytes of video that I'm caught that, that I uh, that I capture um, It's a lot of video But uh, uh, the nice thing is is that once you get it all copied over you're on to your you're on your mirror way for the for the next thing, right? but it works and it works really well. And it only took 31.16 seconds. <clears throat> so, not too shabby. I think it did alright. So the next thing to do is, is take, it to, take it to Mexico and see how it runs. That's the uh, kind of the important part is that I wanted to make sure that uh, I had something that wouldn't break my heart if I lost it or if it got broke right and uh my laptop was not cheap uh at least not cheap to me uh, but this i got less than 200 dollars into this uh would i be upset if it got broken or if it got stolen yeah absolutely um would i be more upset if it happened to my laptop absolutely 